Good morning. The topic for today's revision is vitamin E. The type of question which has come in the cohorts is one is which is common to vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin B, which has come. That is, a, it's a, like a full 10 mark question. Sources are the biochemical functions and deficiency manifestation of vitamin A in this particular case. Okay, then you can get the active forms of vitamin A and it's maybe asked the deficiency manifestation or you can be asked a question on the Wall's visual cycle. Now let's look at the first question that is the sources RDA, biochemical functions and deficiency manifestation of vitamin A. In that we will be also discussing the active forms and the Wall's visual cycle. Now when you look at the dietary sources, there are two types of dietary sources for vitamin E. We have the animal sources which include the liver, kidney, egg yolk, milk, cheese, butter etc. And the oils like fish liver oil, cod liver oil, shark liver oil, they are all very rich in vitamin E. Then you have the vegetable sources. Because the vegetable sources contains the pro-vitamin beta carotene. And vegetables which are yellow or dark green are ideal for as a source for vitamin A. For example, carrots, spinach, pumpkin and fruits like mango and papaya. Now the next is the recommended daily allowance. So when you do, when you are asked the recommended daily allowance, please make sure you write the correct units and I have given the units which is given, being given in Vasudeva. So for children it is 400 to 600 microgram per day of men 750 to 1000 micrograms per day, women 750 micrograms per day and pregnancy 1000 micrograms per day. In some textbooks they have given, us, given it as international units. Now what are the different active forms of vitamin A? There are three main active forms of vitamin A. The first is retinol. Retinol is a primary alcohol as you can see in the figure on the right. The terminal group is a CH2OH group. So it's a primary alcohol and it contains the containing the beta ion ion ring. Now in some animals it is present as this alcohol is present as an ester. So it is present as retinol ester. And you can see there is a long chain fatty acid also. Now the second active form is retinal. Retinal is derived from retinol by so the aldehyde is the aldehyde form. So you see the terminal group is a CHO group. So it is derived by the oxidation of retinol. Okay. Now these two forms are interconvertible. So retinol can be reduced to form retinol. Or retinol can be oxidized to form retinol. So they are interconvertible. The third active form is retinoic acid. Which is derived by the oxidation of retinol. That is the aldehyde form. So when the aldehyde CHO group is oxidized, you get the COOH in the terminal as a terminal group. So that is retinoic acid derived by the oxidation of retinal, but it cannot be converted to uh, back to retinol or it cannot give rise to retinal. Now beta carotene is the precursor of vitamin E. So it is plant roots contain beta carotene. And when this beta carotene is cleaved, it gives rise to two molecules of retinal. The vitamin A activity of beta carotene is half that of retinol. Now, coming to the functions. So, broadly, the, these are the different types of functions of vitamin E. Its involvement in vision, in reproduction, in cell differentiation, in in uh, glycoprotein synthesis and as an antioxidant. It's also involved in growth. So these are the broad um, aspects of the functions of vitamin A of which first let us discuss vision which is very important. So this is part of the Wall's vision cycle. So you know that rhodopsin is present and when light pre is present in the eye, when light falls on rhodopsin, what happens? 
it is split into opsin and all trans pectin array this occurs through a cascade reaction and this is known as a bleaching and it occurs in few milliseconds okay so what happens to in this cascade reaction the rhodopsin is converted to photoredopsin bathoredopsin and lumiredopsin and finally to metarhodopsin 1 and 2 and 3 3 and finally it gives rise to all trans retinal and opsin now all trans retinal has to be now converted to leven cis retinal for the regeneration of rhodopsin So this is the Wolff's visual cycle which you are familiar with. You have to learn this cycle because it's an important question which comes in the university exam. Now, during the conversion of rhodopsin to the all-trans retinal, so the eleven cis retinal is getting converted to all-trans retinal. So this conversion from eleven cis retinal to all-trans retinal, there is a change. There is a conformational change. a nerve nerve impulse is generated and this is transmitted by the optic nerve to the brain now how does the regeneration of rhodopsin occur the all trans retinal can be converted to the leven cis retinal by the enzyme retinal isomerase this then combines with opsin to give regenerate rhodopsin now not all of this is used so some of the all trans retinal is then transported to the liver and converted by alcohol dehydrogenase to the all trans retinol r e t i n o l so its retinal gets converted or reduced to all trans retinol by the liver enzyme the alcohol dehydrogenase and is stored in the liver when required this retinol now reenters the circulation and gets converted to leven cis retinol by an isomerase okay and then this is then converted to leven cis retinal this is oxidized with of nad and the same enzyme that is alcohol dehydrogenase this leven cis retinal will now combine with opsin to form rhodopsin Now, what is this dark adaptation time? It's a shifting from bright light to dark light. During this process, the rhodopsin stores are depleted, the vision is impaired, but within a few set minutes, rhodopsin is resynthesized and the vision is improved. So, the dark adaptation time is the time taken for rhodopsin to regenerate, and the dark adaptation time in, is increased in vitamin A deficient individuals. so this is the vision part which is very important that uh, the what is its role by as uh, the role of rhodopsin and the regeneration of rhodopsin is part of the wolf's visual cycle which we'll have to discuss as a part of the function of vitamin a so again the visual cascade i just want to tell you about when light falls on rhodopsin what happens it gets converted to all trans retinal and this occurs through a cascade reaction which synthesizes which the last product is metarhodopsin this metarhodopsin now activates transducin that is transducin which is in the inactive form is converted to transducin uh, which is in the active form and during this process gtp is neutralized then the active transducin transducin will now convert the inactive form of phosphodiesterase to the active form of phosphodiesterase and this then causes the degradation of cyclic gmp or the 3,5 gmp which is converted to 5 prime gmp this degradation of cyclic gmp causes closure of the sodium channels in the rod cells it causes hyperpolarization and neuron signaling 
Now let's look at the other biochemical functions of vitamin A. So here we could have the role of the other active forms like retinoic acid. Retinoic acid plays a very important role in gene expression and tissue differentiation. It can act as a steroid hormone and the all trans retinoic acid and the 9 cis retinoic acid are involved. They bind to specific nuclear receptors. For example, the all trans retinoic acid will bind to RAR or the retinoic acid receptors and the 9 cis retinoic acid binds to the retinoic X receptors which is known as RXR. Now the receptor retinoic acid complex then bind to certain uh, responsive elements of the DNA and regulates transcription of certain genes. So in this way they are able to play a role in glycoprotein synthesis. It is also plays a role in mucopolysaccharide synthesis. It brings about the sulfation of mucopolysaccharides. It prevents the breakdown of collagen, that is, it inhibits the enzyme collagenase. It prevents keratinization and keeps the mucous membranes healthy and moist. Now, what is the role of vitamin A in reproduction? The active form retinoic acid plays a role in spermatogenesis. Whereas the active form retinol is required for normal reproduction. Vitamin A also acts as an antioxidant. Beta carotenes are the ones which act as antioxidants. They have recently been shown to have anti cancer action also. It is able to combat oxidant injury diseases like atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease. So they also maintain the normal epithelium and the maintains the immune system. Retinol and retinoic acid are also in, involved in the synthesis of transcript. So when you look at the vitamin A functions, you find that it has got a very important role in vision. Then it has a role in maintaining the immune function. It is important in embryo development spermatogenesis, normal repro reproduction, it plays a role in bone metabolism, it keeps the skin moist and it has a very important role in, as an antioxidant. Now the other as aspect of the question was what are the vitamin A deficiency? Now what are the causes? Why do you have vitamin A deficiency? It's because of poor nutritional intake. Now, or it could be liver diseases like obstructive jaundice or liver cirrhosis can result in vitamin A deficiency. It could be due to malabsorption of fat because vitamin A is fat soluble. It could be due to lipoprotein abnormalities like defective chylomicron synthesis because these chylomicrons are required for the transport of vitamin A along with the fat. Now, what are the broadly the vitamin A deficiency which you have to write? First is night blindness or lictalopia. So, then second is the dryness of conjunctiva called xeropthalmia. This is due to improper formation and differentiation of tissues forming the conjunctiva. Then the grayish white spots on the conjunctiva known as phytot spots. Keratoconus, that is the improper cornea formation, of which the cornea becomes cone shaped and it affects vision. Keratomalacia, due to the softening and necrotic dissolution of the cornea. So we have nectalopia, xeropthalmia, phytot spots, keratoconus, and keratomalacia. It can also affect the skin and mucous membranes. So you can have follicles. So that is known as follicular hyperkeratosis of phrenoderma. 
this is due to increased keratin formation follicles so the skin becomes very coarse it becomes rough and dry and there could be infection of the skin and the mucous membrane such keratinization of the can occur in the respiratory tract the genital urinary tract or the intestinal mucosa and if there is frequent infections it may lead to urinary calculi So this is just a summary of the various types of uh, vitamin A collectively known as the retinoids that is the active forms of vitamin A retinal retinol and retinoic acid so as dietary com components what is its action it is helps to maintain reproduction normal reproduction maintenance of vision which is very important promotion of growth and differentiation and maintenance of epithelial tissue and gene expression can also act as a therapeutic agent for example retinoic all trans retinoic acid is used in the treatment of psoriasis and in the treatment of promyelocytic leukemia whereas the 13 cis retinoic acid is used in the treatment of severe acne so this finishes up the how you can answer the different types of questions you can see in vitamin a metabolism